I'm joined here by Jim Conlon, uh, Clare selector here. Clare has just been defeated by, by Cork after a, a fantastic game, I think, but uh, disappointment at the end, I suppose, uh, Jim. I suppose a uh, bitter disappointment, I suppose, with round 10 minutes to go. We had one or two chances to level the game and we pushed on looking for that killer score. We got caught with maybe one or two bad turnovers and left, uh, left a bit of a gap. And that third goal was the killer goal. Uh, it, it was a real sucker punch and we sort of ran out of time there at the end uh, yeah. to, to claw it back, you know. Yeah. I suppose they, they, they got a goal there early on in the first half and we, we pulled it back then at half time and you know, it didn't phase us really. Even when they got their second goal it didn't phase us. We still kept we stayed at eleven points for a long time. We we couldn't get it was two six to eleven points for quite a while and we just didn't get them scores maybe. At that I, stage I, of the I game. suppose like there were always as the game got went along they were always going to get tighter on Shane and Jamie and uh uh, that came to pass and I suppose the two boys uh, were doing an awful lot of running inside there it was harder toward in the second half maybe to get them on the ball as much as we liked uh, they were being bottled up but um, yeah I mean like we, the work the half hours were doing coming back to field as well uh, and come, getting up to support the men as well it was carrying a load of effort out of the legs as well I suppose and that that was that was the thing I suppose we probably looked to freshen it up and maybe we, fr we maybe freshened up a bit too late we should have maybe brought on one or two bodies earlier but um, yeah I, I suppose you can't fault the heart you can't fault the effort or the desire but um, yeah we were just we just gave it everything to get ahead of them uh, and by doing so we probably left the door as you said a bit open in the back yeah uh, fair play and good luck to Cork but uh, they really did uh, dish out special treatment to, to Shane Meehan and I mean how Adam Watch Murphy stayed on the field no one knows it, it was uh, a, it was a, almost a red card and I, I talked for black card we, we, we sort of looked there and we asked for the fourth official and they said there was no fourth official uh, the only linesmen and the linesmen were just walking up and down the field they weren't paying any heed to what, what, what the referee was saying at all so yeah. it, we just felt our midfielders were being body checked off the ball from kick outs and simple yeah. things like that and players the player, players being dragged across, around the place and do you know I suppose the one thing at 17 uh, football you just you command a bit of respect uh, do you yeah. know and they're only 17 year olds uh, give them the respect and we'll give the respect back and I, it's yeah. up to the linesmen to march that fair, well Fair to Cork, that was their that was their tactics to roughen up. They knew to get in harder. They probably saw what we did to Tipperary on breaking ball as well. But it's up to the officials to get their house in order in relation yeah. to that. It was yeah, yeah, a, a, play, a player like Shane Meehan deserves, you know, he's he's only a young player and to be and to be treated like that and and it go unchecked is a bit disappointing. It's not it's not sour grapes. I mean, they they played really well. There was a good spread of scores as well, like, and uh, you know, it, 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 it have to be I have to be happy with that. Oh, I suppose. Look, listen, you can't. Fa you can't fall. I thought every time we had the ball, we were a threat. Uh, to be quite honest, uh, the movement was terrific. The the ball was going in was first time. It was fast ball. Lads are fronting their men. They were taking on their men. They were winning frees. They were kicking scores. And we cork sixes and sevens when we ran at them at the back, like you know. So there was an awful lot of uh, positives, and that, that's the thing. That positivity. We need to bring that. We bring that positivity into the next day uh, going down to Killarney. It's not the end of the year for us by any ropes. Uh, yes. Win, win by four points and we're back in this the scoring difference could have a major part to play Kerry might Kerry said that they're going to see the rest of their panel the next day out like you know so yeah. a scoring difference and you know if Kerry take the eye off the ball in a section and we win by four points that's that scoring difference will carry us through okay, so yes, yeah. there, there, there's an awful lot to still play for this is not the end of Clare football season by yeah. any means yet yeah, they, they they got an ovation there from the home crowd there coming off the pitch. With both and both teams got an ovation actually. It was a great game of football from uh, for, you know sitting up in the stand there. It was a wonderful game of football. Was and high there's quality, great, great credit to you to both teams. It was high quality and this missed about meets about weaker counties and these four teams being in round robin and weaker counties. You can see there after the yeah. Clare is not a, a weaker county. Absolutely it's well not, able yeah. to compete with uh, with with the Corks and, and Kerry's and I suppose that's the thing. You know, going week after week after week, we're picking up knocks in four weeks on the trot it would have been fantastic if we had two weeks to prepare for this game or yeah. a bit more like you know it, it's awful hard on the boys you know yeah. coming off a, a victory like that at Tipperary uh, at the last day to be to have one train one proper Australian session and to be out again like you know the Munster final is not till June the 23rd how uh, two yeah. weeks how we couldn't have been given two weeks to prepare for it's probably something they'll have to look at in the system going forward Absolutely, but as I said, it was the most enjoyable game we had now down to Austin Stacks Park 
as you say, and 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 you, and you know, we go down with our health, health high, oh, and, and, and in with a great shout. Oh, in with, in with a great shout, and we, we'll bring the party. I mean, we're, we're going down there to get a result, and that's the most important thing. That's all it's beings and end all, like, you know, there's no point sitting back and holding off uh, on Kerry. That won't do us. It's not a moral winning exercise at all. We need the result, and we need to put our heads together and devise... The, the best way that we were going to get that result and by hook or crook. Yeah. Just finally, Jim, I just want to mention one man in particular. I don't want, I'd like to single out anybody, but I couldn't believe it when I saw Matthew Reedy taking his place after the, the serious injury that he, that he got, how he came back so quickly and played a, a fine game. Oh, just, Matthew was fit for all the... Um, the uh, the minute he got the I mean the minute the uh, the following training session we had two nights later he was there at the pitch he was talked he was talking it was in the back of his head and I suppose with the teeth injury it's sort yeah. of a, a different one to play but he's been keeping himself fit um the whole time he was ready like you know the lad in wrestling moral Paddy Doherty he broke his nose in the first five minutes against Limerick in the first round yeah. I mean he's worked Trojan and hard one on the streets to get himself fit yeah. and he came on there for Brendan Moran and made an impact so listen the boys are going in for road and unless they're they're wound up in a hospital bed uh, <laughs> uh, they're, they're, go- they're going to be they, they yeah. want to see the action it shows the spirit that's in yeah. the camp yeah. Jim, Jim Conlon thanks very much no problem, I appreciate it cheers thank you thanks Jim